Nothing inspires joy in a mega fan's heart more than a crossover between two beloved properties. Of course, not all crossovers are big events. Sometimes they're just tiny little references or cameos that are enough to let you know that the two shows are connected. It's still exciting either way. So to stoke up some of that excitement, I present to you connections you might have missed between your favorite cartoon shows. If you enjoy this video, be sure to hit the subscribe button and click the bell to be notified when we upload fresh content. Dexter's Laboratory actually had quite a few Easter eggs and references that connected it to other shows, with everyone from the Jetsons to Scooby-Doo appearing in a few places. But for my money, the biggest connection by far is easily the Powerpuff Girls. Dexter, along with many of his smaller supporting characters, appear in numerous episodes of Powerpuff Girls, such as the episode Criss Cross Crises, where Dexter appears as one of the people with whom Miss Bellum had her body switched. Another example is Quackor, Mandark's pet, who appeared in the episode Bought and Scold during the narrator's rundown of known villains, describing her simply as Foul. Now, honestly, the connection between these two shows probably shouldn't come as too big of a surprise, since Powerpuff Girls creator Craig McCracken also helped work on Dexter's Laboratory. And they were both handled by the same production house, so logistically, it wasn't that hard for them to cross over. Still though, it's a nice little nod to the fans. Now here's a small little connection that actually becomes a lot cooler when you consider the previous entry on this list. In the second episode of Samurai Jack, entitled A Samurai Called Jack, a large portion of the story appears to take place in the ruins of a city that bears a striking resemblance to Townsville from Powerpuff Girls. There's also a billboard that is visible referencing Talking Dog, who is a reoccurring character from that same show. So basically that implies that Samurai Jack takes place in a post-apocalyptic future version of the Powerpuff Girls world, which when you take into consideration the previous entry also means that it's Dexter's future as well. And it also means that those beloved characters are more than likely dead. Oh, I'm sad now. Anyone remember Danny Phantom? I'm sure as I'm saying this, there's like a crowd of hardcore Danny Phantom fans down in the comments screaming, I remember it! But I certainly didn't until I was making this list. Did you know in an episode of Danny Phantom, Danny and Tucker very briefly play an arcade cabinet labeled Crash Nebula? Now, if that name sounds familiar, it's because it was the name of a television show character within the Fairly Odd Parents. I can hear you saying, oh, that's cool, neat little Easter egg. But wait, there's more. Danny Phantom actually makes an appearance in an episode of Fairly Odd Parents entitled Polter Geeks, where we can quickly glimpse Danny on a wanted screen off to the side. So does this mean that Danny Phantom and the Fairly Odd Parents exist within the same universe? This one's a very hard maybe. It could just be that both shows included nods to each other and that's it. Though it is entirely plausible that the two shows share a deeper link due to the fact that they were created by the same person. Butch Hartman. And since Crash Nebula is another superhero of sorts, maybe what we see in these episodes is the remnants of a leftover character who is meant to bridge the two. At this point, we may never know, unless somebody goes and asks Butch Hartman, I guess. Okay, now here's one that I feel like we just had to talk about. Now this is something that is big enough that could be a video on its own, which if you would like to see that, just go down in the comments and let me know. So instead of going into all the tiny little ties between these two shows, I'm just gonna hit the big one. So without further ado, this is what connects Gravity Falls to Rick and Morty. Outside of numerous small things that hint at the existence of Bill Cipher or Ford Pines within Rick and Morty, there is one moment on the show that is a direct solid link. In the episode Close Rick Counters of the Rick kind, Rick opens up a whole bunch of dimensional portals while trying to escape from the Council of Ricks. Through one of these portals emerges a pen, a notebook, and a coffee cup with a question mark on it. Now what's great about this is that these are the exact items that Grunkle Stan loses to a dimensional portal at the end of the Gravity Falls episode, Society of the Blind Eye. Seeing that gave me like some weird sort of fanboy goosebumps. Cause honestly, the connection between these two shows makes a ton of sense. They both share a similar theme of interdimensional travel and the co-creator of Rick and Morty, Justin Roiland, is good friends with Gravity Falls creator, Alex Hirsch. So of course a collaboration between the two shows was bound to happen and that is our list. Were there any cartoon connections that we missed that you think we should know about? Or any other Easter eggs or references that could further solidify the links we talked about? Let us know in the comments below. And if you're watching this on Facebook, click the link to be taken to our YouTube channel for more videos like this one. And thanks for watching.